Hello everybody, peace the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, today I'm going to show Hollywood's Easter gift to everybody. Um, I've always found it interesting now that the last couple years, every time around Easter, uh, Hollywood releases a movie or a documentary that completely attacks the Christian claims. Uh, and every, each of them have no historical basis whatsoever, uh, or they mingle a little bit of history with facts, or they um, bring up some things that uh, the Catholic Church has done in the past, um, some false things where they weren't following Christ or his example, and trying to say that, yeah, that maybe this is what Christianity is about. That, yeah, okay, we're oppressive. Uh, and this year, it's the Angels and Demons movie. And here's the trailer for it. Now, no doubt, the Illuminati have many ties with religious organizations, uh, with Mormonism and um, the Catholic Church. But for anybody who is a Christian that is uh, Catholic or Mormon, and they do follow Christ, they know that Jesus Christ is our leader, not a pope, not a pastor, not a bishop. Not a priest, not a reverend, any of that. They are not our leaders. Christ is our leader. What they do is they give the message and they teach it to people. But it's our duty as believers to look at what they're teaching, to read the scriptures with them to see if what it's saying agrees with what they are saying. And if it's not, well, then there's no need for us to be listening to them. Uh, this movie actually looks pretty good. Um, you know, and uh, you, it's just up to the Christian to be able to give a good defense. Like with the Da Vinci Code, it's been completely debunked on YouTube. You can see people... People's videos against it, like Zeitgeist, so that's been completely debunked and refuted. Like um, the Lost Tomb of Jesus, with no historical backgrounds whatsoever. Uh, they almost made archaeology look like a wild treasure hunt with that movie or that documentary. But here, as you will see, this is some verses for the Christians to follow. When watching this, but make sure in your hearts that Christ is Lord. Always be ready to give an answer to anyone who asks you about the hope you have. Be ready to give the reason for it, but do it gently and with respect. Live so that you don't have to feel you've done anything wrong. Some people may say evil things about your good conduct as believers in Christ. If they do, they will be put to shame for speaking like that about you. It is better for you to suffer for doing good than for doing evil, if that's what God wants. So, as you see, uh, we're to give a defense of the false claims that they bring up, because I'm sure they will in this movie as they did for the Da Vinci Code. 
uh, which have all been refuted, uh, which they did for um, the lost tomb of Jesus. And as you will see, Hollywood is becoming even more aggressive uh, in attacking Christianity. And, you know, it's funny that, that they're going to do that and they're going to say that okay yeah we're immoral or whatever their claims are when hollywood is the last place you, you want to go for your morals um so just you know there's no need to get upset about this movie or let it downtrod you just make sure your faith is placed in christ and not in a church system because as you see in the past they did not follow christ or his teachings they messed up big time this is in fact where satan entered the church just as he did um, in Jesus' day with the the temple, you have to drive those those people out that aren't following Christ. And this is what the Reformists did. And uh, we thank God for that, that, that they stood against those people, even if a lot of them, they were killed for it. And we know, too, that Christ said there is a day where people will kill you thinking that they are serving God. Anyways, uh, don't be discouraged. Jesus is Lord. These videos are just uh, novels made to entertain people. Amen.